Uniswap, a decentralized exchange that uses the Ethereum blockchain, instead of using conventional order books, enables users to trade a variety of digital assets using an automated market maker model. Based on various metrics, including trading volume, liquidity, and the number of active users as of 2023, Uniswap has developed itself into a market leader in this space. So let's begin this video with explaining last Uniswap v3 update. Uniswap v3, which was introduced in May 2021, aimed to address problems with concentrated liquidity and capital efficiency. Liquidity providers can now specify the price ranges within which their assets will be used, which will result in greater capital utilization and higher fees. Multiple fee tiers were also added in v3, to better accommodate various risk appetites and trading volumes. Another innovation is non-fungible liquidity, which enables liquidity providers to receive NFTs that represent their share of liquidity pools. Okay, now let's move on and look what's new with Uniswap v4. Although Uniswap v4 has not yet been officially released, its draft code and white paper have been made available for viewing. There are few features proposed in it, Hooks and custom pools. Hooks let programmers add code that executes predetermined actions at significant times during the life of the pool. For instance, hooks can be included to enable liquidity pools to natively support dynamic fees, add on-chain limit orders, or function as a time-weighted average market maker to disperse large orders over time to reduce price impact. Singleton. The fact that all the pools are held in one contract under Uniswap v4 is a significant change because token transfers between pools with different contracts will no longer require swaps, there will be significant gas savings. According to Uniswap's estimates, pool creation gas costs could be reduced by 99% with Uniswap v4. Flash accounting. Prior iterations of Uniswap required the transfer of tokens to complete every operation, including token swaps and adding liquidity to pools. External transfers are only made in Uniswap v4 at the very end, which streamlines pool operations and lowers expenses. Routing across multiple pools is made more effective and affordable by singleton and flash accounting. This benefit is particularly helpful, given that the introduction of hooks would increase the number of liquidity pools. Native ETH trading pairs. The majority of users must wrap their ETH to WETH before trading on the Uniswap protocol using Uniswap V2 or V3, which uses additional gas. WETH and ETH pairs can now be traded on Uniswap V4, thanks to the addition of singleton and flash accounting. Users would benefit from this because native Ether transfers cost about half as much gas as ERC-20 transfers do. So, that's the end of the video around everything about Uniswap v4 update. Now if you have found the content helpful, don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to our channel for more content like this. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video until then, goodbye.